Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, well, you kind of see behind what we got going on. The shop is pretty much done. As you guys can see, she's looking good. So, come on, check out the video and see what we did. Hey guys, here we are. Here is the garage. As you guys remembered, we had a wooden deck, all this other stuff in here. I mean, you remember the trucks? I mean, it wasn't quite set up like this, but I done told you, it's not always gonna be the same every time we come in here, because we don't want to see the same old boring stuff. But today, we got some shop improvements to do. We're gonna get this garage where it's a little more functional, where we can actually work with it. So, you guys stick around. Let's get some things changed around up here. I'm gonna get everything pulled out of here and uh, we're gonna start looking at a few things that we've got. All right guys, as you can see, it's a vacant shop now. It is empty. There's nothing going on here. So, first things first, we're gonna address the floor. The floor is the most important thing in a shop. Uh, Went out to my local hardware store and they make a dry erase board that seems to be, you know, very good in price. I think this sheet was uh, $6. I'm not gonna show you all of it. I'm kinda gonna go like this. So you guys get the gist and the understanding of it. But this thing was six dollars at the time of this video it's a solid white shine board very easily clean so if we get grease dirt or whatever on it we can get it cleaned up for fairly easily uh, this is a four foot by two foot piece of uh, dry erase board so we can mark on this with a dry eraser dry, dry eraser marker and we can wipe it off if we need to so we can take notes or whatever for ourselves for our builds or whatever uh just remember don't use permanent marker because we're not going to get it off of here so let's go ahead and get this floor installed and let's see what it looks like after the fact now the after <laughs> what do you guys think of that definitely made it a lot brighter and it's a slick floor. I like that. Those of you who is uh, watch Lee's RC, you guys had a sneak peek of this yesterday. Uh, kind of helped him do a video over here. And uh, we use this as our backdrop. So uh, go check out his channel if you guys haven't already. Uh, I did a sneak peek of this there but now you guys get to see it here all right well the next step we've got the floor now we need stuff to get put in here so let's go ahead and install a few things you guys already know about the tire rack stuff like that so let's go ahead and get that stuff put in now you guys see it now watch when i start putting stuff in this thing Man, look how much nicer that looks already. That's a lot better. That definitely looks completely realistic now. I'm already liking it a lot better. All right. Let's see, what's next? Oh, okay. We got jerry cans. You know, because you're in a shop, what's always in the shop? 
can. We got ourselves our gas can. And got ourselves a nitrous bottle. <laughs> yeah, every shop's got to have nitrous, right? I'm going to go ahead and stick that one up in the corner right there. All right, we're going to get a few more things laid out here and we'll get right back with you guys. Man, how's that, everybody? That's awesome. Uh, drift car. We're going to go ahead and kind of store it here. Uh, me and Lee's RC has been doing some collaboration and trying to figure out a few things. We're actually going to come up to about yay high. You know, about, about halfway up on this wall. And we're going to actually build a platform right up in here. And we're actually going to do a loft. That's why you see a TV. I move the drift car out of the way a little bit. And the fireplace. Those are actually going to go up in the loft. He's going to actually have his own home up here in the shop. So he's always around his, what he's working on. Not bad. All right. You see, we got just about a little bit of everything that we need up in here. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys, you know, a nice little aerial shot here. And uh, hopefully I get it real good for you guys so you guys can kind of see everything and see what's going on. Ta ha! Now that's epic. Now you can kind of see what's going on here. See my shop lights. Looks pretty darn realistic if you ask me. Got some five gallon oil barrels. And a big old bumper jack for the monster truck. There's his tools in the corner of the shop. And you gotta have a first aid kit, guys. There's his motorcycle when he gets ready to ride. All in all, I'm very happy with the turnout so far. I'm gonna get the loft built up, get that looking good, and get that finished out, and we're actually gonna build a bench in here as well. I'm trying to figure out where I'm actually gonna put that at. I've got a few other accessories to put in here, but kind of waiting for the bench, everybody. Man, the shop turned out awesome, guys. I'm so pleased with it. It is under still construction, this thing's going to be a never-ending thing. We are always going to be adding something to it. Uh, like I said, I want to add the loft up in there. Make a little home up there for, you know, the owner of the shop. So he has somewhere to go to sleep at. You know, late nights working on the truck, you know, or out racing. He needs somewhere to crash. He's got that place to crash now. So we need to hurry up and get that, get that area built up there. So he can go to sleep and relax. So he can start working more and more on these projects for you guys. But uh, other than that, I mean, the uh, axial standing tall in here, she looks good. Drift car, perfect spot for it. I think we're going to keep that one right there. I uh, think it's going to be its permanent home right up in there. It's either that or we're going to use this area over here for some storage area. Don't know yet. You know, we'll figure it out. That's the old honors of having a big old shop here, guys. So... I'm not going to sit here and drag this video out any longer. I appreciate out, appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Much appreciated for the love, guys. And please continue to do so. Share my videos. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And we're going to catch you on the next episode.